hey guys welcome to another video today i have a new flanker to share my thoughts on with you it's the new Montpari lumiere from ysl and it's the edt if this is your first time on my channel welcome i'm all about fragrances over here especially new releases curious to hear what's new then please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future posts also please check out my Mercari because that's where I do most of my um, declutter the packaging it comes in this box is really nice some glitter and some stuff on it I did get it in the one fluid ounce and then the bottle it's in the signature Montpari um, bottle and then you have the classic bow on it and I think this bottle is stunning it's gorgeous it makes it it's it's an elegant look and it will stand out on your vanity this is a floral aquatic fragrance main cards are white florals rose musky aquatic patchouli and ozonic top notes are lotus and lemon middle notes are Turkey Turkish rose datura and jasmine and the base notes are white musk and patchouli first off guys if you're not into floral scents then walk away from this one this is like a straight up bouquet of flowers i think this is the third in the in um third flanker in the collection there's the original which focuses on the floral detura and um a creamy patchouli and then there's the ent the enhancement i think it's pronounced don't don't kill me for the pronunciations please and that one have keynotes of floral detura and um, warm centifolia rose absolute and then you have the lumiere which is an EDT this one it still maintains the signature detura with um, added lotus so there is a vibrant floral in the opening for me you definitely can't miss the detura and the patchouli at this point i will go ahead and say don't over spray because the opening is very loud and strong as it settles though it gets lightly sweet with a touch of freshness and i think um there's a dewy or a, i can pick up on a dewiness or aquatic accord that comes from the lotus in my opinion after about 30 minutes or so there's a slight warmness as it dries down from the transition of the scent on my skin, I will say it's a complex fragrance because it goes through like different phases. It starts off strong, then it gets warm, and then when it's fully settled, it becomes the softest, most delicate scent on my skin. In the dry down, it gets musky, but not too musky, and it blends well with the rose notes, and that's where the rose note comes forward for me. Um... In my opinion, the the um the musk the muskiness helps to cut the sharpness of the floral notes, and it gives it it balances out it so well in the dry down. Like after you get over that loudness in the opening, it's beautiful in the dry down. To me, this is a slightly sweet version of the original. It's not candy sweet or juvenile, and the rose in it doesn't give it a mature vibe as some rose note tends to do. I think this can be worn like a late afternoon because of its freshness, but have enough warmth for, for nights, and it's perfect for summer. I wouldn't recommend blind buying because of the opening. In my opinion, if you overspray, like I said before, you can get a headache. It made me sneeze a lot for the first time I tried it um the first time i tried it but it gets really nice um as it dries down guys which of the montpari flanker is your favorite i don't really have a favorite at the moment i just got this in the mail last night and i've been playing around with it so i need to play around with it some more i honestly i think i had a sample of the enhancement again i probably butchering that a while ago but i need to probably play around with that some more to see which one i would which one i like or love have you tried this one yet 
please comment down below and share your thoughts with me. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, take care.